First of all, the sample size is based on risk. And in case we know uh, the confidence and reliability level already, we need to distinguish between attribute data and variable data. If we distinguish this, we can then consult a standard like the ISO 16269-6 to come up with a sample size. While the ISO 16269-6 gives us an exact number for attribute sample sizes when we have a confidence and probability level, it does not give us an exact number for variable data. We can choose between a bunch of different sample sizes, but we have to also choose an according K value. And please keep in mind that you also need to have enough samples in order to show your normal distribution of your variable data. Music